India is a country in South Asia. It is the seventh largest country by area, the most populous country in the world, and the most populous democracy. The Indian media consists of several different types of communications of mass media, television, radio, cinema, newspapers, magazines, and internet. The first newspaper in India was circulated in 1780, founded by James Augustus Hickey, named Bengal Gazette. It was the first English language newspaper and indeed the first printed newspaper to be published in the Indian subcontinent. Before 1817 there was no newspaper in Hindi or India language. Digdarshan, the first monthly newspaper in Indian language. Newspapers in India can broadly be classified into two groups. English newspapers and language newspapers. Language newspapers are published in more than 100 languages. The first Urdu newspaper, Jami Jahan Numa was published from Calcutta in April 1822. 1885 there were 117 Urdu newspapers. By the time of independence in 1947, the number of Urdu newspapers had to grown to 584 in the country. On the 14th of January 1850, Munchi Harsik Rai started the weekly Kohnur, which had a remarkably high circulation of 350 copies. Another important paper founded that year was Rasnam Hipanjab from Lahore. Hindi journalism made rapid progress. During the First World War period and many outstanding journalists came to the fore. Hindi journalism grew more rapidly after independence. The Nav Bharat Times of the Times of India group started in Delhi in 1950. According to RNI Registrar of Newspapers, the total number of publications in Hindi was 27, 527 in 2007 to 8 including 3,418 daily newspapers. India has the world's largest newspaper market after China, with publication of 88.9 million copies daily, from a little over 200 dailies, published in the post-independence India, to over a 100,000 registered newspapers and periodicals as of 2021. Danik Bhaskar is now considered as one of the top-rated newspaper of India. Press Trust of India is the largest news agency in India. Headquarter in Delhi among more than 450 Indian newspapers and has a staff of about 2,000 writers spread across 150 offices nationwide. 1923, the first radio broadcast in India was made by the Radio Club of Bombay. It was a two-hour program that included music and news. 1927, the Indian Broadcasting Company was established by the British colonial government. It started broadcasting from Bombay and Calcutta. 1930, the first All India Radio Air Station was established in Mysore. 1936, it became the National Broadcaster of India. It started broadcasting in English, Hindi, and regional languages. 1947, India gained independence from British colonial rule. AR became a public broadcaster under the Indian government. When India attained independence, there were six radio stations in India, at Delhi, Bombay, Calcutta, Madras, Tirukirapalli and Lucknow. 1972, FM radio was introduced in India. The first FM station was launched in Chennai. 1992, private radio stations were allowed to operate in India. The first private FM station was launched in Bangalore. 1999. The government allowed foreign investment in radio broadcasting. This led to the entry of international Adari companies like BBC and Voice of America. 2006. The government sets up the Telecom Regulatory Authority of India TRAI to regulate the broadcasting sector. Private FM radio stations are permitted to broadcast news and current affairs programs. 2007, the government auctions 338 new FM radio licenses across 91 cities, bringing the total number of stations to 536. 2010, the government approves the establishment of community radio stations, allowing non-profit organizations, educational institutions, and community groups to apply for licenses. 2014, the government launches digital radio. 
broadcasting DRB technology, allowing FM radio stations to broadcast in digital format. 2015, the government launches the FM Phase 3 policy, permitting the auction of 839 new FM radio licenses across 290 for cities. The policy also allows for the migration of existing FM radio stations to Phase 3, which permits higher power transmission and expansion of coverage areas. 2019, private FM radio stations continue to expand their reach and influence across India with a growing number of listeners tuning into news, music, and entertainment programs. The government also announces plans to launch a new policy for digital radio in India. When India attained independence, there were 06 radio stations in India, but in 2023 there are 262 radio stations and now accessible to almost the entire population of the country and nearly 92% of the total area. Television in India started with the experimental telecast, starting in Delhi on 15 September 1959. 1959, Doordarshan, India's national broadcaster, is established and begins airing educational and informative programs. 1965, the first Hindi-language soap opera, Humlog, airs on Doordarshan and becomes a huge success. 1972, Color television is introduced in India, and Doordarshan begins broadcasting in color. 1982, the first privately owned satellite television channel, Star TV, is launched in India. Doordarshan, the national public broadcaster, launches its first news program in 1982. Jitanyali Iyar, who was one of India's first English female news prisoners on national broadcaster Doordarshan, 1992, ZTV, the first privately owned Indian language channel, is launched. 1996, cable television becomes widely available in India, leading to a proliferation of channels. Two thousand one, and DTV 24 by 7, India's first 24-hour English news channel, was launched. Two thousand three. Ajtak became India's first Hindi news channel to operate 24 hours. 2005, Z News launched Z Business, a 24-hour business news channel. 2006, India TV was launched as a Hindi news channel. 2007, CNNIB and now CNN News 18 was launched at B Network 18 in collaboration with CNN. 2008, News, an English news channel, was launched by Inks Media. 2013, India's first regional English news channel, News 9, was launched in Karnataka. India has altogether 392 news channels, dominated by regional language channels and private players.